sports leader. 715 on KMBR 680, 615 for the pregame show. The chatter and some of the cool lighter side of Major League Baseball. Right here with the Razor Mr. T on the sports leader. Sports talk done right is something of a symphony. The orchestra, the callers and guests, the conductors, sharp, well-prepared hosts. As sports fans, we gravitate to it and spend large parts of the day tuning in. It gives us a chance to hear our opinions validated or blown to pieces. All the while, we keep listening, and when the time is right, we interact. KNBR Radio has provided this outlet in the Bay Area for decades. Two of their hosts, The Razor and Mr. T, know how to make an afternoon drive riveting. While sports media has perfected characters who specialize in mock outrage or stoke controversy where there's little to be found, these two are well above that. Well, I think both of us you know, kind of despise the shows where somebody has to take one point and somebody has to take the other point. You have to disagree because that makes for good TV or good radio. You know, we may disagree. We may agree, but we may disagree on how to get there. We may disagree here, but we each try to have our valid points, listen to one another. And we disagree occasionally. It doesn't happen a lot, but I think the great part about it is when we do disagree, I mean, it's genuine. It's never contrived. It's never made up because we just don't do that. The show leading into Ralph and Tom takes a similar approach, but Fitz and Brooks certainly have their own unique tone. The more compelling shows for me are shows where I feel like I learned something, you know, and, and I, I, that's always been my mindset of, you know, having conversations with people to maybe learn something about something you didn't know or, uh, uh, or, or change your mind about something. Uh, but, you know, ultimately, yes, the, the, the story, the Bay Area sports story is what gets people going. All the while, the producers help create a flow that can be carried for a few hours. But often, the best stuff is what you just can't plan for. Somebody may just hit a, a nerve and you're like, ah, we don't want to talk about that. Or last night, you know, there could have been a frustrating call or maybe we have, you know, no offense right now. And so people start to get passionate about that and have their opinion. It's almost their opportunity to be the manager or be the coach or be the general manager and make decisions as to what they would do if they were in their shoes. And the producers are the unsung heroes. Some are like magicians running the board, working with guests and knowing just when to hit the right drops. Like if somebody's saying something boring, if one of our hosts is saying something that I think is boring, I know go straight to page five, and right here I have a nobody cares. You know, just little things like a, like a, like a Tony Bruno laugh. You know, everyone likes Tony Bruno's laugh. Gary, Gary Radnich yelling. Who does that? Who has time? So, you know, it's knowing where your, where your sound is and knowing who the audience is and what they're looking for. We are entertainment, first and foremost, but we're also a way to connect with the fans. It's instant gratification for them. If there's something that's bugging them, they can call right up. You know, people ask me all the time, you know, what, who do you root for, things of that nature. I say this, I want everyone in the Bay Area to win because when they win, the fans are happy. When the fans are happy, it's just a lot easier to have a conversation. So with the Giants winning the World Series, I don't think you could ask for any better story than that. It's a story that certainly helped drive ratings, yet a criticism the station faces is that you'll likely hear more Giants, 49ers, and Warriors talk than other Bay Area teams whose game broadcasts are not aired on the station. The question is, what's the right mix for representing the major topics in the Bay Area and what callers themselves want to drive as topics? It, it, it goes back and forth, and again, it's that kind of symbiotic relationship uh, between the caller and, and the show hosts and the station. Now, we are the Giants' flagship station, but uh, it's been my experience, in, and you know, any time I've done a show, talk about anything going on in the Bay Area. It's just what the fans want to talk about. And the majority of listeners aren't necessarily callers, just folks who want to check in on sports talk as part of their daily routine. You don't have to pause your life. Uh, you can go outside and be active, or you can go to the beach, and you can bring that radio and listen to KMBR. And whether it be Ralph and Tom, or Eric Burns after, or Marty Lurie after, or the actual game, I think that's what keeps radio going. Along with hosts that are genuine. No. We each have our opinions about why certain things happen, what teams need to do, what direction they need to go, and kind of throw it out there and let the listeners listen and you know decide for themselves how they feel about a certain situation. But I. I couldn't do it if we had to come in on a day-to-day -day basis and say, okay, you take this point, I take this point. Well, I don't really believe in that point. Well, sell it anyway if you don't believe it. I mean, to me, that's garbage. Oh, hey, he couldn't peel himself off a cornerback if he ran.